Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Changing wind patterns are making Greenland melt faster and Antarctic ice sheets melt slower. When we let loose our end of the tug of our probe against the climate change, there will be little we will be able to do to protect our coastal cities from its watery rampage. And as the oceans claim, the likes of Mumbai and New York at least will know where all the water is coming from. Even if you leave the various glacial laced mountains out of the equation, the ice sheets in the Greenland and Antarctica hold enough frozen water to raise sea levels by 210 feet. And sadly enough, these land masses comprise the two regions most severely affected by the global warming. The world is getting hotter. There are no two ways about it. Greenland itself has faced a massive 3.8 degrees Celsius rise in temperature since 1990s. But the rising air temperatures aren't the only factors leading to the ice sheet's accelerated downfall either. Wind also forms a major contributor. However, a new study has found that the gusty phenomenon has clearly favorites even while attacking our two best ice reserves. Foen and catabastic winds downslope gusts that blow hot air on the tops of the glaciers akin to a higher hair dryer contribute a major amount of the melting of Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets annually. The research team found that the impact of these winds on the Greenland's ice sheets has spiked up by as much as 10% in the past two decades. On the contrary, its effects on the Antarctic ice sheet has been reduced by 32%. Most of this major distinction can be attributed to the way global warming is playing out differently in the Earth's northern and southern hemispheres. Greenland has become so hot that it no longer needs wind with the effect of the sunlight sustainable enough to drive melting in the region. The 10% extra wind driven melt has just exacerbated total surface ice melt by 34% over the last 20 years. Further, a shift of the North Atlantic Oscillation, an extremely important weather phenomenon controlling the strength and direction of the western winds and the storms in the region to a positive phase is bringing in more warm air over the Greenland and other Antarctic areas. The hairdryer has been left in an on state essentially and meanwhile the total Antarctic surface melt has slashed by around 15% since 2000 mostly due to the 32% less downslope winds on the peninsula. Further an improvement in the region's ozone layer which absorbs great deal of the raw heat from the sun has insulated Antarctica's surface from further melting, the study suggests. However, this doesn't mean that the southern ice sheet is free from trouble. Antarctica has faced the collapse of the two vulnerable ice sheets and ice shells already. Further, research has suggested that if this melting trend continues, it could slow down global ocean water circulation patterns which could have devastating consequences on Earth's climate including rainfall and warming. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.